when a body is placed in a liquid then either it sink or it floats or it remains in suspension now i am talking only about the floating body if a body is floating there is something which is very important to understand if a body is floating then it must displace it is displacing the liquid equal to its own weight i mean to say every floating body displaces the liquid equal to its own weight then only it floats so we can say this is principle of flotation principle of flotation says that weight of floating body is equal to weight of displaced liquid it doesn't make any difference whether the body is very light or it is very heavy like ship ship is very heavy but ship floats on water so while floating when it is floating then it displaces the water equal to its own weight but a piece of paper is very light but it also floats on water and it displaces water equal to its own weight that's why whether the body is very big or small it doesn't make any difference but the weight of floating body is always equal to weight of displaced liquid now this principle can be proved very easily with simple experiment look at this experiment this is an overflow can which is completely filled with water up to its spout completely filled no more water can be added in it and it is weighed by the help of top and balance now let's say weight is 10 newton in figure a this is so and weight of combined weight of overflow can in water is so this is 10 newton but when a piece of wood is placed in water all of we know that wood flows on water and when a piece of wood is placed in water then again the combined weight is found to be 10 newton at this time weight of overflow can plus weight of water plus weight of wood but weight of wood is missing the reason is very simple it displaces certain amount of water are out of this uh, overflow can and again if the total weight is 10 newton it means how much is the weight of this wooden piece the same weight of water must be displaced that's why total weight remains same 10 newton this way we can prove that the weight of a floating body is always equal to weight of displaced liquid okay now there are some recent question which is related with principle of flotation look at this very common lead this question these questions are asked in examinations and other that we discuss about this question in other places also a ship immerses more in water when it is loaded with cargo what is the reason when a ship is being loaded with cargo it immerses more in water look at this let's say previously the ship was immersed up to this level and when it is being loaded with cargo then what is found it immerses more now level of water goes up again it is being loaded with this cargo then again its level of water is found to be increasing this way level of water goes on increasing and increasing it means ship is immersing more and more what is the reason reason is very simple we can answer this question this way very systematically according to principle of flotation weight of a floating body is equal to weight of displaced liquid so when a ship is being loaded with cargo then its weight increases and when weight increases then it immerses more to displace more water which must be equal to its own weight and then it flows this is the reason now next question is the opposite of the first a ship immerses less in water when it is unloaded with cargo when it goes to its destination when it reaches to destination then what happens these cargoes are then unloaded being unloaded when it is being unloaded again what happens the this uh, water level goes down water level goes down it means it immerses less and less when it is being unloaded with cargo this can be answered properly systematically this way again according to principle of flotation weight of a floating body is equal to weight of displaced liquid 
since the ship is being unloaded so its weight is decreasing and it will displace the weight of water equal to its decreased weight and so it emerges less in water this way we can answer the second question now look at this third one which is also related with principle of rotation a wooden car emerges less than rubber car during its rotation look at this diagram one of the car is rubber car which is emerging more both of them are floating but rubber cup is immersed more wooden cup it immersed less what is the reason why wooden cup is immersed less why rubber cup is immersed more if they have same volume let's say they have same volume density of rubber cup is more than wooden cup since density is more that's why weight of rubber cup is more than weight of wooden cup and according to principle of flotation weight of a floating body is equal to weight of displaced liquid that's why rubber cup emerges more to displace more water which must be equal to its more weight but in case of wooden cup its weight is less so for the flotation it has to emerge less to displace less amount of water that will be equal to its less weight so a wooden cup emerges less but a rubber cup emerges more